Happy Sunday, y'all. A long run, quote unquote, after being out for a bit. Seven miles, maybe more. Such a beautiful day. Perfect weather, finally. Almost at eight miles. Woo! Didn't think I'd go this far. So my run went well. I ran eight miles, shown here. Didn't expect to run that far. Been out for a while, but I hit almost 20 miles this week. So I'm back in the game. Back in the game, guys. Anyways, before we get going, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, and follow my Instagram. So AJ picked me up for my run, and we went to EOS Fitness. We went to the yes. gym. And I got a little bit done. He got more than me done because I ran, did some drills, did some rows, did some lat pull downs, a little bit of oblique work, and some stretching. We are gonna head to the store and get a little protein bar recovery snack. And today we are gonna head out to San Diego. We're gonna go on a go store. We're gonna go to Old Town San Diego. What was that face? Oh, like, ah, like scary. <laughs> <laughs> and Natalie, my sister, is going to come with us. So we got a little ride up to San Diego. We're going to take you with us. I have to go see one patient today. And then we're going to head out in the afternoon. Stay tuned for the We've been wanting to do something like this for a while. So yeah. San Diego is the place. Lots of old town history. Yeah, there's high jumps on as well. They're on. You can fit it in. It's just where the official... And it's down to three girls in the 10K. We're just watching the 10K before we head out. Yeah, you know, step out, we'll do something different. We got Natalie here, and we're headed to San Diego. Been a lot of traffic, been sitting here for a while, but it's well worth it. So we're headed to Old Town. We're gonna go have some dinner. We might walk around and see some sights. Then, what? The graveyard, yes, AJ's favorite. <laughs> One of uh, AJ and I's first Fun day was here, so memories. We are going to go on a ghost store tonight. Before that, we're just gonna chat a little bit because not many of you know Natalie. This is Natalie. Natalie is a licensed clinical social worker, so she's big on mental health. Not but quite licensed yet, but close, close, close. close. Almost. So mental health, we know, is very important. I have been training Natalie, and she's been getting back into running and working out. She's going to tell you a little bit about it. What do you want to know? So I used to run uh, cross country in high school. I was inspired by my older sister, of course. So I've been running on and off for a while, but um, I'm more of like a figure skater. Actually, I got into that like a few years ago. But running helps a lot with figure skating and I felt like I was kind of not keeping up in my routine. I remember running really helps with that. Also, I felt like my metabolism kind of slowed down. Every time, for some reason, when Allison gives me a, he makes like workout routines for me, I always follow them. It's like an OCD thing, like, like I have to follow it. So I've been running um, and increasing slowly. Actually, I've been running like a little bit. Last year, I've been running like this whole time, but I only run like once a week. So I started running three times a week, starting like three miles on Monday, three and a half on Wednesday, Day and then four on was my longest run. So I've just been slowly increasing. I'm on like my third week of uh, running three times a week and I feel like a big difference. I even feel like my metabolism sped up because I feel hungrier throughout the day. Yeah, I'm already seeing a difference. So and are you doing any strength training? Yeah, I'm doing some abs and um, Pilates. I use my favorite. Yeah, I use Pilates a lot. I do like back and arms and Awesome. Good for you. And we'll give you an update on Natalie's story sometime soon. We'll give, give her a little time to progress. Just got her hair done. Looking looking good. Looking sexy. And we're out on the town tonight. And I will come back to you when we make it to Old Town. You don't want to lose a little bit of weight. Like get a little something. You do? Because... Oh, wow. That was oh, your own idea. idea. <laughs> we'll talk about his story later. We made it in one piece. We are here in Old Town. 
This is the Whaley House. It is one of the most haunted houses in America. We love going here and have been here many times, but today we are gonna do the ghost tour instead. And it works out perfectly because it is actually closed until next month. San Diego already has a long history of mystery and ghost stories, so the Whaley House fits in just perfectly. There are tons of cute little shops that you can shop in here in Old Town. And lots of the things that you can buy in the stores are based on Mexican culture. One of those stressful things. There are tons of delicious Mexican restaurants. We chose to go to a place called Miguel's because they have this delicious white cheese sauce that I am obsessed with. We sat at the bar because the wait was like 45 to an hour long and we didn't want to wait. We got to watch some Olympics, had some delicious food, and yes, we sat at the bar but we don't drink, haha. -ha. So this is the Whaley house. We're back here and we're exploring. It's just gonna get like an orb picture try to of inside maybe we'll get it in our video never know we all ate pretty healthy at the restaurant even though it's a fun weekend and so we actually caught some creepy pictures and I'll pop them up right here you don't have to believe them but it's what we found Yankee Joe is buried here is that his name yeah. Yankee Joe there's AJ Yankee Jim that's what it is When I, when I came to Old Town, I made several loops around Washington Square, the plaza, just taking random photos of this, that, and other. Want to stop and take a break? So I sat on the bench that used to be there by the wall. As I was sitting there looking around, I heard these footsteps. They either came out of the double doors, or they started in front of the double doors, started down the front porch or the front walk. So I got up, followed parallel on the cement, taking pictures in the area that the boards were creaking. As fast as my camera would recharge the flash, I take another photo, followed them down to the next set of double doors, where they either stopped or went inside the commercial restaurant. The commercial restaurant is one of only a handful of original adobe buildings left here in Old Town. We're going to walk up a tad bit further. And to the left of the double doors where the address is, there is a small figure standing there. It was not a shadow. There was a solid black mass was away from the wall. I can see the arms, the legs, the head, the torso. And as I focused in, that little child disappeared. I believe it was a child because it was only about three feet tall. So the ghost tour was pretty cool. Didn't really see anything, but we got to feel a vortex and that was amazing. It felt like tingling in our hands and warmth and pulsing. It was the coolest thing ever, but we're headed home. I'll see you tomorrow. So we had a fun time last night. We're super tired. We had a walk around a lot for the tour. But it was super fun, wasn't it, AJ? A little perfect. creepy. We got like a couple, cool. couple pictures with what we think might be ghosts. And sorry if you're not into ghosts. We're headed to the grocery store. We're going to Trader Joe's to get some groceries for the week. I got something cool in the mail. This actually is something I'll be using to make a TikTok, but it is another hydration brand. It is called oh. Essential Elements, and they gave me electrolyte mix. Sorry, I'm unboxing in the car because I am anxious. And it has ACV, hydration, performance, and support. Super excited to try this. 15 servings, blue raspberry lemonade, watermelon cucumber, and yuzu lime flavors. We will try this. Check out my TikTok channel. Allie loves to run. And they even sent me like a cute little bottle that says essential elements. And a sweatband. How cute is that? I will be wearing it in my TikTok. I'm not a big pre-workout fan, but Mr. AJ is, and he's going to try it. All right, headed to the grocery store. Take you along for the haul and show you what we get. All right, we are back from Trader Joe's, and I'm just going to end this video by showing you what we got from the grocery store. And we haven't shopped, like, for our actual groceries at Trader Joe's in a while. We usually don't go buy a ton of groceries. We buy them, like, kind of week and a half to week by week just because we're indecisive. And it's easier that way, so. All right. We got enough for three different dinners during the week, and then maybe we'll go out once and then make shift the other day. That's the plan as of now. So, we love having chicken pot stickers with the Kung Pao chicken. We make them together and we put them on top of this riced cauliflower stir fry. Super delicious, super healthy, high protein. 
We could not resist getting these sweet potato fries. We are both obsessed with sweet potato fries, so this could go aside grilled chicken, or if we had a sandwich, or we could just have them as a snack. Excited to try these, have not tried these yet. These are not my favorite. They are really good if you are an orange chicken fan. So AJ chose these. Come to say, we're gonna probably have enough for more than three meals here. We already broke into the peanut butter cups. They're dark chocolate peanut butter cups, in my opinion, better than Reese's. Sorry Reese's, but amazing. So this meal, easy, quick, fun meal. Let me grab the rest of it. So I used to do this a long time ago. I would like get a mixed salad and get some sort of chicken beef jerky, chop it up, put it on the mixed salad. But we tried it a different way with a different sort of beef jerky. But it's not beef jerky, it is turkey jerky. This is a Southwest chopped chicken salad, super delicious. Pour it in a bowl, add the dressing, add the toppings, mix it up. And then we add some turkey jerky on top. And then mix it in. And it's like a turkey jerky Southwest salad. Super easy, a little bit more chewy than your normal chicken or meat, but easy, quick, and high protein and healthy. Because we all don't have time to make homemade meals, right? Instead of purchasing almond milk today, we chose to try oat milk because we've heard a lot about it. So we will see how it is. Can't wait to try this. And we got our bananas for protein shakes, snacks. We I've been trying not to get sugary cereal because obviously if it's there, we eat it. This is called Heritage blah, blah, Heritage Flakes and there's lots of healthy things in it like wheat, oats, spelt, barley, millet, 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 quinoa and they're actually really, really good. Crunchy. I like to eat them dry. AJ eats them with milk. Another dinner I'm gonna prep. So we got some marinara sauce and we got some red lentil pasta. High in protein, has about 15 grams of protein per serving. When I decide to make this this week, I'm gonna go and grab some ground turkey, put it in the sauce, and put the sauce on top of these yummy, yummy red lentil pasta. That is all I have for my mini grocery haul. Like I said, they're all gonna be mini grocery hauls if I'm doing a grocery haul. Go check out Trader Joe's. Amazing food, and if you don't have that much time, kind of some semi-homemade meals you can make. Quick, easy, and of course healthy. We are gonna go ahead and end this video. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with us to San Diego, learning about my sister, going ghost hunting with us because we're a little crazy, seeing this grocery haul, all summing it up to a healthy, fun weekend. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. Also, follow my Instagram. Lots of fun content on there as well. And like I said, check out TikTok because I'm gonna be posting a video with the Essential Elements Hydration Mix and that will be super fun. There will also be a discount code on that TikTok. Don't forget that if you want to be happy and healthy and you wanna have a lot of energy, you must stay 